Let's sit down. Yes. Now we're gonna do. So are you ready? Hello everybody! Everybody's working on a sketchbook, right? I'm gonna show you a few different views of the faces today and we start off with a three quarters of view. So you put the center line to the left a little bit and, uh, and indicate the eyes and the nose and the lip and draw the shape of a feature and you're adding a hair and ears draw the hat and uh, don't forget the scarf and the shoulder and the neck when you're ready to shading it, you can also erase the guideline. Make sure you add a neck and a shoulder. And uh, you want to start shading it like that. Okay. The pencil I'm using, again, I'm using a mechanical drawing pencil. Uh, but that pencil lead is a 2B graphite, number 2B. So if you don't have a mechanical drawing pencil, you can just use a regular 2B pencils and then shade it darkest area, kind of press down or repeat it several times so you get darkened. And then you can uh, use a neat eraser for the light areas. And adding a little details with the design on the scarf. And then pick up the smudgy parts with a neat eraser. And then those are the area that are smudged, make it soft, shading it. Adding a white for the highlight, so I use a white color pencil. Now we're gonna do the front view and you start off with the egg shape and halfway for the eyes and a halfway for the nose and the little above a halfway for the lip. And you draw eyeball inside and the eyebrows and then also draw the feature of a shape of face, hair and the neck and the shoulder. Before you get on to the detail, you can erase the guideline. line. Now you get onto the shading uh, around the eyes first and the darker area under nostril, under the nose and under the lip. Again, the features of an individual are different according to the ages and genders. So the guideline we draw was a sort of a kind of basic to uh, everybody's face. but. When you look at the photograph, individual photographs are different, so you can change along while you are drawing. To avoid the smudging uh, under your hand, uh, get a piece of paper, put it under your hand. For applying highlights, make sure you lift up the smudgy area with a neat eraser before you color in with a color pencil wipe for the highlights.
take a good look at the photograph and you see the highlights on the face, you apply with a white color pencil. I was keep messing up uh, around the chin and I was keep erasing and reapplying it. After that, I smudged the paper too much and as you see the right side, you got all mess up, <laughs> being mess on the paper. So don't forget to erase it around at the end. I applied the highlight on the hair, even though it doesn't show, I add a little bit. Okay, don't forget to indicate the date. Now we're gonna draw the elderly woman. The guideline is the same as the other one. We're gonna draw halfway for the eyes, halfway for the nose, and halfway for the lip and center line. And then I'm gonna adjust the shape of the face and neck and the shoulder and the hair. For an elderly man and woman, draw the ears and nose larger, the chin longer, and make noticeable wrinkles. This time, I'm gonna add a highlight on the eyes first. And then start shading around the face with the, again, mechanical drawing pencil. The pencil lead is a to be dark. When you happen to draw a person wearing a glasses, don't forget, always draw the detailed eyes and face first and then adding a glasses on, on top. Now we draw a side view of the face, as you see the egg. We start off with the egg shape first, and uh, just like the other guideline, we apply eye and the nose and the lip, and the center line happens to be on the side. And you're gonna draw the nose tip out of the egg shape, and indicate the eye. Line up with the Pencil and C, it goes a little bit of diagonal and uh, where the tip of the lip touches the diagonal line. But this photo shows her chin is a little bit forward than normal people, so I'm gonna make a chin coming out a little bit. And then you're adding her uh, eyebrows, and uh, pretty much you only wanna see the one side of the face. And again, here indicated in between the eye and the nose on the side.
As you see this photo, it shows a great contrast on a over here. I think this is a great study for the how to draw hairs. Now I'm going to do the eye highlight first. The reason I'm doing the highlight on the eye first uh, is uh, after I got smudged with the pencil lead, it's hard to apply. So I'm going to apply the on the highlight dots and uh, white eyes with the color pencil first. Start shading it. Also, as you see the photograph, hair has a very sort of different shade of the gray tone there. So I'm going to apply the darkest area, press a hard with the pencil red. And uh, I'm going to use a white color pencil for highlights. Wow. 